I make comments or? Okay. Well, first of all, um, I did apologize to Mr. McNally and his family, and I'll apologize to you also. But if I offended you in my comments, it wasn't meant to be like this. But I, I will just run through the events that took place and why I feel the comments I put out in my mind um, are very different than maybe your comments and your beliefs. Um, the first thing I want to say is Mr. McNally uh, never did anything wrong. I think all developers want to have the best deal. They want to deal with the city. And, and, and I think all of us want to do the best deal. So council asked our land and property department to prepare the land at 603 First Street for sale. They did the environmental study to make sure that it wasn't contaminated because there are there were some comments about maybe being contaminated and so on. So that was done before they put it out as an expression of interest for this property. The property was put out as a where is, as is property. The conditions we had asked is we wanted to have underground parking, minimum four stories, brick building, and some other minor points to it. It was zoned as a C4. Three offers were received. $600,000 by Mr. McNally, and I won't mention the other ones, but two other ones. One were $515,000, another one for $490,000. By these three offers, you can't argue that's only worth a dollar. Not anymore. People are interested, and it is a fine piece of property. The citizens had over $700,000 stuck into that piece of property. And that's $650,000 for the property, and then another $50,000 plus to uh, put down the building that was there. So $700,000 were put there. Land and property started negotiating with the highest bidder, Mr. McNally. On January 7th, at 3.30 in the afternoon, Commissioner Finley asked me if I would meet with Mr. McNally and his son, Joel, because they had hit an impasse. I said, sure, I'll, I'll listen to what you have. And, and the issue was um, that they, they wanted us to buy two floors. And I forget the exact amount. Commissioner Finley says this is way higher than anybody else that we've approached from office space. So there was a lot of arguments about what, what this, I, we have to do this, we have to do that, whatever. And, um, and I said to Mr. McNally, from what I hear Commissioner Finley say, I have to, to represent 60,000 citizens. And why would the citizens of Nesson have to pay more than we have to pay? So at that point, he said, then I, I can't go through with this project. That's on the 7th of January, at 3.30. Because, and, and by the way, he says, I, I won't go it, I'll pull my offer back. And by the way, that takes a lot of pressure off of me. Because he had mentioned the time's a little bit tough for, for renting and whatever. So um, the next morning, and I remember my wife had the dent, or, um, doctor's appointments, I came in a little later, Oliver Schneider came by in the hallway and he says, I've struck a deal. I said, what deal? And he says, for the property, and I said, it's good. I, he didn't tell me at that time what that deal was. I found out later that the deal was that we would give the property for a dollar. To me, it's giving it for a dollar. And that we would buy the two unfinished floors for four million bucks. And we all were presented with that, with that information. Now, Alderman well, Schneider convinced the majority that this was the best deal we could make. And in my mind, there's two other offers there. So other people were also interested in this. And I'm sorry, but I don't detach myself from this because I think there's a value to that property. We, we actually ignored these two other bidders. As a matter of fact, we had closed the bidding with them. We said we're dealing with somebody else. On April 6th, Mr. McNally wanted to come and present to close counsel. Paper says that we invited him. No, 
And I remember talking with the city clerk saying, what for? Because we're in the process of, of talking about this. No, he was, he was quite adamant he wanted to, to present it. When he came to Close Council, that was the second time I met Mr. McDowell. I didn't know him before, and I uh, didn't see him in between. So on the 6th of April, when he did the presentation of the 3D plan, he had a great presentation. Actually, the building and, and what he presented to us was uh, fantastic, and I told him so. You remember that. That, in, in, in one sense, is not a commitment to say that I support it. That is just fact. It worked very good. Could other people do the same thing? I don't know. We also received legal advice not to accept this. In other words, don't proceed in the expression of interest. We shied away from that. We just said, oh, let's go ahead. I did advise you that I think we're going to get hammered for this on two things. One, we're selling property which is worth a lot of money. We've canceled his offer of $600,000. And two, we're not going to be part of a condo association. That means we're tying up this council and future council into a condo association. Never been done it before. <clears throat> One comment is we cannot approve this in close. These, these deals have to be approved in, in open. And it was finally approved on the 6th of July. Um, what Mr. McNally said when I went to see him later is that up to seven aldermen were in his office to make a deal. If you have five or more, you've just concluded a council meeting. Did you take minutes? Summary? What are part of the other deals that we should know, the rest of the council and the citizens? We don't know that. That's a transparency I got phone calls about. How did that happen? What's up with this? And I think it's pretty important that we, we know all the details, not just what's in the contract. My comments and what I saw from the paper in the first article that was written was could this project be financially too risky for the developer? He has mentioned several times that the time's a little bit tough for this. He called this a, a marginal project. And he also said, that's his word, not mine. If we can't get substantial costs to go down, we won't be able to proceed. He didn't say that to me. That was the first article that was written. And on the 28th of July, I went to see uh, Mr. McGalley, uh, Pat and Joel, the same day. And again, I apologize if I offended them with my comments. But in reality, uh, maybe my police ethics of all these years of 36 years where you can't give somebody else's property away is interfering with maybe political ethics, which is very different. But that's what I believe. I wouldn't give your property away. And in my mind, does anybody around this table have property for sale for a dollar? 